Hey, what's going on guys? Hey, welcome back to At The Bar with Bad Beast. Hey, look who I got with me at the bar today. I got my lovely wife, Mrs. Bad Beast. She's gonna be helping me uh, test some of these eggnogs we have up here. We're gonna have an eggnog battle here, okay? Uh, you like eggnog? I love eggnog. Okay, all right. Yeah, you like a little something in it, I'm good to go. Oh, geez. Okay, well, what we're gonna be uh, comparing today is what we got over here. Uh, we have uh, Evan Williams eggnog. Okay, and this one here is Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. Now, I've never tried the Pennsylvania Dutch eggnog. We've had Evan Williams quite a bit over the holiday seasons uh, and stuff. Yeah, so uh, uh, if you guys don't know, I'm going to give you a little history about eggnog. Uh, eggnog originated in the 17th century from England, and it was originally used for medicinal purposes, okay? But uh, according to what I read online, the citizens loved it so much, they didn't want to wait till somebody got sick to have some eggnog. So they made it a holiday favorite, okay? And then it made its way to colonial America and into Puerto Rico, and then they started adding rum, and then it went to Mexico, and they started adding cinnamon and grain alcohol. So the eggnog has, has evolved over the years, and of course it is a holiday favorite now. Uh, we do buy eggnog, just plain eggnog. Yes. Right, and then we add brandy, Burberry, cognac. cognac. Yeah, a little something to, to spice it up. Yeah, we always spice it up a little <laughs> bit. But sometimes it's good to buy the ones that already have the liquor in it. So we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test on these two here. Okay. So let me give you a little bit something on Evan Williams, okay, honey? What they got okay. down there? Evan Williams of originate in Southern eggnog is made with a smooth Evan Williams bourbon and real dairy cream. Evan, Evan Williams eggnog is Tradition served with chills, garnished with a dash of nutmeg. Okay. And I, I see down here it talks about the eggnog tasting notes. Yes. Uh, what proof is that? Uh, right now they're saying the proof is 30 proof. So that's 30 proof. And uh, I think this one here, Pennsylvania Dutch, is 29 proof. So they're, they're close in alcohol content, okay? Yes. Uh, they say it's supposed to smell like, what's that, uh, creme brulee? Creme brulee. And nutmeg. Nutmeg, bourbon. Bread pudding. Mm. Yeah, it tastes like bourbon bread pudding. Huh? Mm, okay, but well, we'll see. Hey, now this Pennsylvania Dutch here, um, it's what's, what's different about the Pennsylvania Dutch versus the Evan Williams is Evan Williams is just bourbon. Right. Okay, but the Pennsylvania Dutch is a combination of alcohol. It has rum, it has brandy, and it has a blended whiskey in it. So it's 14.75% alcohol. Okay. Um, this one here, uh, I had never heard of before, uh, saw it. Uh, Price-wise, they're comparable. This one costs about $7 and some change, right. and this one here was about 8 bucks. So they're, right. they're close in price. There are other eggnogs out there that have alcohol in it. I saw Christian Brothers. Uh, Christian oh, Brothers, yeah. Christian okay. Brothers has, has an eggnog out okay. there. And uh, uh, a couple of other manufacturers have some right. eggnogs out here. But these, I just picked these two up while I was out in the store. Right. Um, and we'll, like I said, we'll empty these bottles while Take we're this. trimming the tree tonight, huh? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right, so, all right, so let's go ahead and, uh, and have a taste test for the first one. So, okay. in, in, uh, let's go ahead and taste Evan the Williams. Evan Williams. Yep. So, we'll use the little glasses. Little glasses. Okay. That's good. Just enough to taste. Now, the one thing about these, each one of these said that you're supposed to serve these chilled. Um, maybe over ice if you want to with a little whipped cream and some nutmeg. Uh, to be honest with you, I've always liked my eggnog warm I don't know why would you yeah, warm I like it warm yeah I mean warm and then you throw a little brandy or cognac in it it really really intensifies the alcohol flavor and things so okay this is the Evan Williams. Evan I can smell the bourbon can you, you can smell yeah. the bourbon here. and, and uh, I don't know what is this supposed to smell like creme brulee yes yeah, smell like creme brulee have a little vanilla but of course it's gonna vanilla. smell like nutmeg I put nutmeg in it just now so all right so let's go ahead and taste this one That, bur good. that bourbon is pretty strong. It's not quite as cold as it was in the refrigerator, so maybe over some ice or something. Might that, that alcohol flavor is pretty strong though. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah, it does taste good though, and then nutmeg is not bad. Mmm, at all, mm. not at all, at all. Okay, so 
let's go ahead and uh, we'll cleanse our palate of some water and then we'll go ahead and uh, let me uh, rinse these glasses out right quick and we'll go ahead and try the uh, Evan Way, I mean uh, the uh, Pennsylvania Dutch, okay? Okay, so we'll go ahead and drink it up. All right, all right, so, so now that we've uh, reset ourselves, we're going to go ahead and try this Pennsylvania Dutch. It's not as thick as Evan Williams. You don't think so? Nah. Oh no, it looks thick to me. But then again, it's not as thick. Alright. You don't want no eggnog or nothing? Maybe nah. I just want to go with that one since yeah. we have. No, that one has a different aroma to it all together. I can yeah, smell the rum. Can you smell the rum? Yeah. Okay, let's taste this one. It's thick. Ooh, I like that though. You know, I like that. I think this one's smoother. It's smoother, yeah. This is smoother than yeah. Evan Williams. That, Evan Williams alcohol in it. that bourbon hits yeah. real hard in this one. This Pennsylvania Dutch has got it's some good. nice alcohol content, but it's nice and smooth. That brandy and that rum. Ooh. Mm. Now, that's real good. That's real good. Okay. All right. So, so out of the two, which one do you prefer? Go <laughs> ahead. Take it to the take it to the head. <laughs> I like the Evan Williams because I like I like the smell of the bourbon in it. You think the, because of the bourbon taste? Yep. From, you know, I think a, a, after comparing them both, mm -hmm. I think I, I I would lean more toward the, the Pennsylvania Dutch just because of the smoothness mm -hmm. of the of the alcohol content inside of it. Uh, I mean, I'll drink both of them, and once again, I love heating them up. Because right. when you heat them up, it brings out the alcohol flavor right. even more. So, but uh, if you had to give, so you give the nod to uh, Evan Williams, yes. okay, and I give the nod to Pennsylvania Sorry. Dutch. But of course, it's based on individual Your taste. taste. Yeah. Okay, so so out of uh, let's I used to do a scale of one to ten. On a mm. scale of one to ten for the Evan Williams, what would you give it? An eight. An eight. Okay. All right. All right. And the Pennsylvania Dutch. Mm, I say a six. A six, okay. Why a six? Just because you can't taste the alcohol? Right, yes. Oh, okay. I like to taste alcohol in my eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, okay, well, there you have it. Mrs. Bad B <laughs> said she likes to taste her alcohol you in her say. eggnog. That's so, right. Okay, so, well, hey, hey, uh, well, if you're in the market for some eggnog and you don't want to mix your own uh, alcohol in it, mm -hmm. go out and check out a couple of these. You can't go wrong. Um, we're going to heat these bad boys up tonight and go trim the tree and uh, and start the holiday off right. So, uh, is that it? You didn't give the scale. I give a scale? Nope. Um, okay, well, Evan Williams, I would probably give it a seven. Okay. Um I think for a holiday egg, now even though I like it, I think the brand, the bur bourbon is maybe just a little bit overpowering over the egg. Now the Pennsylvania Dutch, I, I would probably give it. Um, I give that one a seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. I give I give the Pennsylvania Dutch an eight probably, just because I like the smoothness of the alcohol. There's no that one there kicks you in the kicks you in the. In the in the that teeth a little bit. Supposed to kick you. That's eggnog with a little bourbon. It's supposed to kick you. <laughs> during the holiday season. That's right. right. All right. So, well, if you want a little kick, grab the Evan <laughs> Williams. If you want a little smoothness, grab the Pennsylvania Dutch. Okay. And we still, I still don't have a, a saying. And I know we had that contest and right. things. And but uh, I gotta wait for my brother to come back from his trip before we choose. But until he comes back, I think I like the one that he came up with. Uh, was it stay thirsty and and, and keep drinking? So, uh, I don't know. Yeah, so it was kind of like one person say stay thirsty, and another person say and, and keep drinking. I kind of like that one there. Okay. So okay, so stay you want to do thirsty. that one? Already? You gonna do it already? Oh, okay. yeah. Hey, I'm ready. Well, hey, look, that's all we have time <laughs> for tonight. I hope you guys enjoy your holiday season. We're gonna have many more holiday videos coming up in the next couple of weeks, man. Cooking and drinking and things of that nature. So. Uh, have a blessed holiday season, and uh, that's all we have from at the bar. And as always, stay thirsty. Drink up. No. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to say thirsty. You, you say the end. Okay. All right. Okay. So, all right. All right. Let's take go. Two. So we we'll do it. Take, we'll, take, take three. Take, four. Take I'm gonna leave all this in there. You know that, right? All right. It's okay. So, so uh, at, let's do this again. As always. Uh, uh, you you were at the bar with Bad Beast, and as always, stay thirsty and keep drinking. <laughs> drink, drink, drink. <laughs> you are silly. You got no.
sense whatsoever. <laughs> oh lord. Oh. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> you was video. That's gonna be video. <laughs> okay. Ready? What? Nothing. What'd you say? <laughs> Nothing. What'd you say? Nothing. What you thought I say? So you call somebody, motherfucker. Oh, motherfuckers sound like nut nutmeg. Oh, I'm not. Nutmeg. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Nutmeg. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, nutmeg. Well, I'm like, what are you talking about? That's a blooper there. That's for sure. <laughs> All right.